Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. Just before the daily candle close, we want to take a look at the shorter time frame. Um, but first of all, let's zoom out a little bit here. Situation overall hasn't changed here. Okay. Um, I can understand if you get sort of tossed, you know, tossed around like up and down and everything. This is just the market at the moment. It is, it is like that. You know, the market hasn't made up its mind yet. I think that's no secret. Been highlighting for more than a week that this is just a fragile range. Um, at least we could see that the market is moving in corrective structures. Whether this turns or turn, you know, if this would turn into a long sideways range or not, or not obviously I didn't know. But the fact that we were just moving in corrective structures indicated at best indecision. And indecision, indecision is exactly what we see in these patterns. This is price action from the 5th of August low. Yep, we had a nice rebound from down here, but that rebound was only in three waves. And now we see just like, you know, three waves down. Okay, three waves up. So it is all just sideways price action. What are we looking for at the moment? So someone said to me in the previous video, you know, in the, in the comments that, um, that this is likely a correction to the downside still, you know, something like a larger ABC structure or WXY pattern because the movement to the upside is not impulsive. Well, I fully agree. It's not an impulse to the upside. And yep, the yellow wave count takes us down into the mid 40K region. Let me take you through the yellow wave count. Before we do that, quick in info that just because the movements to the upside are corrective, doesn't mean it has to break down. It just means it could be a diagonal. We have to be on the side of caution. But once support levels break, yes, something more bearish is likely playing out. All right. For now, the bulls still have a chance, even though it's difficult. Okay. And, um, you know, you, you see a lot of ups and downs and breaks of microstructures. It is a sideways range. And until we see a break, below 56,290 or above these previous highs around 61,900. Expect sideways trading. That means unexpected up and downward move. I shouldn't say unexpected because in a range you have to expect everything. It's just noise, okay? This is just like radio noise, just the up and down, up and down, up and down uh, without clear sense of direction. So we have to expect that until we break either to the downside or to the upside of the range boundaries. That's very important. Okay. So, um, one second, didn't want to click the replay button. Let me just delete that. Okay. Yeah. So what's the yellow count? Yellow count indicates we had a B wave top. Obviously it was a three wave rally here into the 8th of August high three waves up. And then we say, okay, we had a wave one to the downside only in three waves as well. So that means if this is wave C to the downside that takes us into the mid 40K region, it is not clearly bearish yeah, because we only see three waves down. So it means zooming out a bit, we had three waves down, three waves up. We could now be working on wave three to the downside. That would require in the next step, a break below 56,290 to confirm. That's the swing low from Thursday, the 15th, then a wave four to the upside and a wave five. And that would be this C wave down. Then the market would then have a chance to find recovery or to, to re attempt a recovery from down there. What needs to happen to confirm this further in the very next step, a break below 57,900. That's the Monday low and then below 56,290, the Thursday low. However, as long as we hold support, it is possible to call this entire move up a diagonal pattern. That's not impulsive, but a diagonal. Diagonal patterns mean, yeah, not clearly bullish, but we can give the bulls a chance. You know, there are some indications here that we might want to try to push higher, but it's not clearly bullish. Okay. So we have, it, all it means is we have to be on, this, on the side of caution. We have a wave one to the upside, wave two to the downside. That was the Monday low then another one two setup, And this wave two was the swing low that formed today. Now let's go actually to the 15 minute chart. 
know it's kind of ridiculous, but what do we see? We see from the intraday low another five wave move up and a three wave pullback. And the market already reacted to this micro support area. Some of the members might have taken this as a long trade. It would already be in profit, not massively, but it was a profitable intraday move. That was a signal I shared earlier today. Obviously, whether this is now going to lead really to a third wave rally or not, we'll have to see. I'm skeptical. Again, I can only say be, be careful at the moment, but just like an hour ago or so, I posted this. I can see a five wave move up of the Bitcoin low, but it's small and might not be significant yet. Yeah, it's only on the five minute chart provided the support region and the market dipped into this found support at the golden ratio and is now already moving up. But bear in mind, we have a resistance area here between 59,515 and 59,790. So you see this support zone worked nicely, but it's only on really the smaller time frame. It was an intraday signal. And yes, it would have led to a profitable trade, but it is extremely, extremely choppy, you know, the, the market at the moment. So let me go back to the Bitcoin chart. Um, so I would not be surprised if this breaks, okay? So risk management is absolute key. We had a break above the trend line as well. Maybe Bitcoin is going for a retest of that trend line. Might touch it again at around 59,000, yeah, to 50, to 60. But if we break below the um, swing low here at around 58,944, that would be the next indication that the yellow wave count is playing out. Because what did we see here from the intraday high actually up here? Yeah, this swing high. We've seen three waves down so far, but we haven't broken above resistance. So it could easily give us one more low. And that would be a step towards something more bearish because then we have five waves down. We break below next support. So at the moment, I think we, as I said, expect sideways action as long as we stay in the range. But there are some support and resistance levels obviously within the range that we can watch but it's tricky yeah it is tricky and um you know you need to have your risk management spot on at the moment that's the update about bitcoin hope you liked the update if you did please hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe and if you really like the content then please check out the channel membership also make sure that you follow us on instagram and twitter for additional content thanks a lot for watching bye bye